Oh, hey, I'm Will Hungerford, lead developer here at Privateer Press, and today I'm gonna talk to you about something terrible. We're gonna talk about the Infernals. So we just finished the Infernal CID cycle. Uh, for those of you that don't know, CID is the Community Integrated Development Cycles, uh, beta tests basically for new models that are coming out. A lot of times that we're trying to build certain rules, we're trying to add a certain narrative flavor to them. Usually we nail the balance pretty well, but I wanna make sure that people are having fun playing with their toys. One of the challenges of balance on models, not necessarily just the probabilities and the, the mathematics of their actual, just what they do on the tabletop, how often they hit and so on, but also just does it feel like the faction. Infernals are you're playing the ultimate bad guys. We wanted them to feel very otherworldly, very demonic, and the idea that you're coming here to claim everyone else and the whole time they're trying to fight against you, you are just sort of teleporting in these other forces that are just constantly bombarding the battlefield, which gameplay-wise, that's just adding models to the table, you know, adding new threats. That can be hard to balance, but it did feel right. It did feel like what the Infernals are supposed to do and what could be fun gameplay. So finding the equilibrium between the narrative and the actual just pure balance was a pretty significant challenge during the CID process. I'll be honest, I, I don't care if it's the absolute most balanced thing on the planet. I don't care if it's chest levels of balance. If it's not fun, then we've failed. So thanks for hanging out with me, and I hope to see a lot of you at Lock and Love, where you'll get your first chance to pick up Infernals. And for those players picking up Infernals, I'm really excited to see the opportunities that they're about to get and all the terrible things they're gonna do with it.